Hi, welcome to another Cubase Guru free video tutorial. Um, this one's going to be on MIDI mapping, specifically how to map your MIDI controller to a VST instrument that perhaps doesn't have the um, learn and latch function. The one I've been asked to do this on specifically is Vanguard, which is here, and obviously this has been done in Cubase. Um, the first thing you need to do is activate the generic remote um, which is done in devices, device setup and then if you come up to remote devices and click on the little plus sign you'll see a whole host of um, devices there. In this instance we're just going to use the generic remote and you can put this the MIDI in and out to whatever it is that you normally use. I'll just put it to that and I'll leave it at that for the time being. One other thing I'm going to check is the MIDI port set up. Um, the reason I'm checking this is just turning off everything that I definitely don't use. So I definitely don't use those two for the time being. And in the outputs, I'll just turn it off as well. I don't need that. I don't need that. So back to the generic remote. Okay, this is really easy to use. And what we need to do is figure out what controls we want to use. In this instance I'll do the cutoff, the resonance and the reverb mix just to show you. The first thing we need to do is double click where it says fader 1 and write in um, the name of the control. So in this case it's going to be cutoff and we want it to be a controller. Yeah, that's what we want. We'll leave it on MIDI channel 1 We'll leave the address as it is because it will pick that up automatically. And the max value in the flags also. Now, what we need to do is come over here, click and hold down the learn button and then move a control on your MIDI keyboard or controller that you want to assign to the cutoff. So I'm just going to do this and uh, turn one of, my, um, one of the knobs on my controller. And you should see the address change. Okay, see that? It's changed to 3. So now I'm going to come down to fader 2 and put in resonance. Change this to MIDI channel 1. Again, hold down the learn control and turn the knob. You'll see the address change again. There you go. And the third one was the reverb mix. So we'll just call that Reverb mix. Controller, yeah, again, channel 1. Hold down the learn button. Move the knob. You'll see the address change. The address is, in fact, the MIDI CC or um, the MIDI control number. Okay, now that we've done that, if I come down here and click here, you will see fader 1, 2, and 3 automatically change to these. There we go. And we can leave it on VST Mixer. And as you can see in here it says Vanguard, we need to do that to these two as well. And then in here, we click in there, now what this is showing you is everything that can be automated. We're looking for a Vanguard, and the top one's the cutoff, so if we come up here to filter frequency, it's what we want. Now, as you can see, the knob that I assigned up here is now controlling the filter cutoff. Again, if I come here, Vanguard. The next one was filter resonance. And the last one was reverb mix. So if I apply that, if I turn all those knobs, you should see those, should see that, that, and that all change. Cut off, resonance, reverb mix. And that's it. It's that easy. So now you can go through and assign ev everything you want to any controls on your MIDI controller. And that's it. Now, a few things um, to do just for good practice. You could rename this, but in this instance I'm just going to leave it. But what I am going to do is export the XML file so that if something does go wrong, I don't have to go through the whole process again. Now, obviously I've only done three, so that wouldn't be such a hardship. But if you've done all of those, and then something goes wrong, you have to reinstall Cubase, then you're going to have to do it again. So, to do that, export, 
and you can have a folder somewhere in this case I'm just going to save it into my MIDI map Cubase video tutorial and I'm going to call it Vanguard save that and that's it saved so now if I reset all of this stuff okay it's not going back to factory settings so what I can do is just delete these and delete these ones okay apply that and hit OK so now I'm turning the knobs but the cut off resonance and mix aren't moving as you can see so if I come back to devices select generic remote sorry devices device setup so now that I've opened it what I need to do now is import the XML file that I created, hit open, and as you can see, cut off resonance reverb mix again, and now if I turn the knobs, as you can see, they're working again. So now if I just hit OK, that's it set up, so not, and now working, so it's now working in Vanguard. So if I come over here, pick no VST instrument, hit discard, and then select Vanguard again, And now turn the knobs again. Nothing's working. So we need to go back. Devices. Device setup. Now it's strange because it's there. So why isn't it working? Okay. So let's just OK that. And see if it's working. See if it just needed refreshed. Doesn't seem that way. So device setup. Import. Vanguard, open, apply, OK, let's see if it works now, yeah, that's it. So if it opens up and it doesn't pick up the controls, just re-import the XML file that you created and um, the automation should start working again. And of course you can do that for every single parameter that's mentioned in here. So. All of those parameters can be automated, every single one of them. So I hope that's been of some help to you, and um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the Cubase Guru free videos. Thanks for watching.